Hello, my name is Eun Saem. Welcome to Eun Saem channel today. And you know, in today's video, I'm going to teach you the practice of dangling modifiers. Uh, my later video was about uh, the ways of correcting a dangling modifier that we have to think of two points. One is place the subject within the opening word groups. Number two is place the subject right after the opening word groups. But it really uh, crucial to uh, adverbial clock dangling. Before I start to teach you the practice of dangling modifier here, I would like to remind you of the definition of dangling. Just, uh, what is dangling? Well, dangling is a word or phrase that doesn't actually modify the word it intended to modify. When talking about the dangling, it means that it is wrong in terms of grammar. So, and you already know that there are six types of dangling modifiers. One is this young dangling refers to all the prepositional phrases at the beginning of the sentences to qualify in the wrong ways. Adjective wall dangling refer to all adjective wall phrases at the beginning of the sentences. Uh, it is qualified in the wrong way too. Number three is participial dangling refer to all the participial verbs at the beginning of the sentences. Present participial dangling refer to all present participial verbs at the beginning of the sentences. Uh, infinitive wall dangling refer to all the two infinitive at the beginning of the sentences to qualify in the wrong way. And the last one is Adverbial clause dangling or dangling adverb clause refer to all adverb clause at the beginning of the sentences to qualify in the wrong ways. Okay. How about today practice? Okay. Look at the board with me. Practice dangling modifiers. Uh, direction is underline the dangling modifier in each sentence and identify it as this young dangling, adjective wall dangling, participial dangling, present participial dangling, infinitive wall dangling, or adverbial clause dangling. First, you have to underline each dangling and then you can identify it as the type of dangling. Number one. While pitching his tent, a snake bit Tony's on the ankle. Which one is dangling? Dangling is while pitching his tent. When you see the word while he is conjunction, that's why conjunction plus subject verb can become adverb claw. So this one is called adverbial claw dang dangling. Okay, you based on the definition, all adverb clause are uh, at the beginning of the sentences. Then it is adverb bill, adverb bill, clause, dangling. Number two, to stop price increase. All good must be well controlled and limited. Of course, the dangling come at the beginning of the sentence, so it is to stop dry increase. What type of dangling is it? To is to infinity, so when you, you see the word to infinity like this, it is called infinity wall dang dangling. Infinity wall. Dang, dangling. Number three, by standing and repeating the flag, the hearing came to an an end. By a preposition, after preposition is verb ing, ing. So it is called what type of dangling come at the beginning of the sentence by using preposition plus noun noun phrase. So what is it? The this chang, yeah, this chang, this chang dang, dangling. Number four, 
Number four, treated attentively, the doctor feels tired of many patients treated. Ready? What is it? Pa participle. So pa participle. Remember, pa participle. Dang, dangling. Yeah. Pa. Pa. T. C. P. L. Dangling. Okay. Number five. Ready to pitch a cam. The windstorm hit. So ready to pitch the. Okay, so ready a ad adjective. So you remember one type of dangling which start from adjective. What is it? It is adjective. Adjective wall. Adjective wall dang dangling. And the last one is. Looking at the beautiful pictures, the art galleries is full of pictures. So it is looking at to the picture here. Start from verb ing. What is it called? It is present participle dang dangling. Present participle dangling. Okay, this is the answer. Again, uh, dangling modifier. First, you have to underline it dangling, and then you can identify it as this young dangling, adjective word dangling, past participial dangling, present participial dangling, infinitive word dangling, or adverbial clause dangling. The easier way to identify is that you know all types of dangling. Are at the beginning of the sentences to qualify in the wrong way. So, when you see adverb clause form like this, it is called adverbial clause dangling. When you see two infinitive phrase at the beginning of the sentence like this, it is called infinitive wall dangling. Start from two infinitive. When you see preposition plus noun phrase. At the beginning of the sentence like this, it is called this young dangling. And when you see the participle come at the beginning of the sentence like this, it is called participle dangling. When you see uh, adjective or phrases uh, at the beginning of the sentence like this, it is called adjective or dangling. And when you see the verb ing at the beginning of the sentence like this, it is called present participial dang dangling. So it's very easy to, to recognize. When talking about the dangling, means that all these sentences are wrong in terms of grammar because dangling does not modify the target word. It's wrong in terms of gram grammar. So in order to make these sentences meaningful, make sure that you have to think of ways of correcting dang dangling modifier my previous vi videos. Okay. Does it make sense, everyone? After my explanations, if you have any questions about six types of dangling modifier, please write your question. I'll try my best to reply to all of yours. Well, we come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching my video, but don't forget to watch it every day. A new video comes out per day. When you meet one, you find it difficult to understand a lot of grammatical items because everything is taught in order. You spend around 7 to 15 minutes watching my video per day. You can understand a lot from my lessons. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.